And so Mama Gaji got this thing for me like the other day and it is a lifesaver in terms of like teeth and stuff like that. These days I'm quite a fan of coffee so my teeth aren't looking too great because of it but at least now I got that thing which helps a little bit. Anyways, I spent the last like 15 minutes recording a video all about sales funnels which I think you probably would have seen by now. I think that video came before this one, only to find out that I didn't turn the mic on on my Rode Video Mic Pro. So, I'm about to film that again. But I woke up around three hours ago, went through my normal routine, popped into two work blocks. Now, it's around 11 o'clock and I actually have quite a fun day. It's a Tuesday and I think later today I might be seeing Georgia. Then after that, I'm heading off to hit a workout with a marketer for Third Space Gyms. Now, Third Space is like a super luxury, I think it might even be the most expensive in London, but like just really, really nice gyms. And he does all their marketing and he actually got me a free membership, which is really cool because I think it costs like 250 a month. So yeah, I'm going to go hit a workout with him. We're going to catch up. We haven't talked in a while. Then after that, I'm seeing another friend and then tonight it's actually one of my close friends birthday so I think we're all going clubbing still yet to decide whether I want to join or not by the way I really wanted to start off this video using my drone but the weather in London right now or just in general recently has not been too pretty that said I'm currently looking for places to go so I think I might be off to Maldives next month Maldives possibly because there's just a bit too many days of rain for me. So yeah, either Maldives or I'm also thinking Morocco. Apparently Morocco is really good in September and either going to decide from an Airbnb or staying at like some, some villas or a resort. Now, if you haven't already seen my traveling CEO video where I break down everything I've done to ensure that I can actually number one, afford to travel and number two, I'm not tied down to one place. If you haven't seen that, I think it's like two videos ago, so just go look over my previous videos. As I said, I'm looking to spend probably half of September somewhere abroad, somewhere sunny, because things are not looking too pretty in London. So I'm actually off to go see Georgia right now. Um, it's pretty cool. She's actually a model signed with a pretty big agency. So that means she's connected to an app which is called Into. Now basically Into means that you get a lot of stuff for free, which is really cool. So basically one of my favorite cold press places is actually down the road from me. And she gets like two acai bowls and like two green juices just completely free because model life, I guess. But yeah, nonetheless, that's super cool. So wrapped up with work for this morning and early afternoon. So so basically we walked into cold press and they kicked Georgia out. And they basically claimed that she wasn't a model, uh, that anyone that looks like that couldn't come close to being a model. So basically that place was closed. So instead. Hey guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Georgia basically, she needed a little car wash. So where do I recommend? Obviously my own client. This place, all of this is actually, uh, they're actually one of my clients. So um, works out well. <laughs> so super fun seeing Georgia. It looks like we might actually be going to Portugal next month together, which is gonna be fun. It was also quite interesting actually going through the car wash, considering that they're my client. They were very, very surprised to see me there. Now, remember when I told you about the gym and how I was getting a free membership? Well, turns out, unless it's part of a family pack, they don't even accept people my age. Because I'm under 18, they won't accept me, which is a bit unfortunate, but nonetheless. I actually just signed a huge branch of gyms like two weeks ago, so I get a membership to them. I have my own gym membership. So really, I, I can't imagine why I'd need a third one. Sucks because they were actually getting a cryotherapy chamber and I'm quite the fan of cryotherapy, but but that also leaves a little bit of time for me to do a bit of work now. Get a few little things done, finish up some client work before heading out tonight and celebrating my friend's birthday.
So guys, I'm on my way to the gym now. To say it was a struggle to get to this point would be an understatement. Now I finished up all my work and I'll be honest, in my head, like I was just thinking, I'm probably just gonna order in some like five guys or something like that and just stay in and not really do much. So I'm very, very interested to know like when you're really, really struggling to, when you're procrastinating or you're really struggling for motivation, like what's the one question you ask yourself or what's the one thing that gets you out of a slump like that? With me, for whatever reason, I just start to think about like, my mom, my future wife, and my future kids, as weird as, as weird as that sounds, because I realize that even, say for example, with my mom, like little things like this, deciding to go to the gym and then getting some good clean food after, like all of this stuff attributes to the fact that I can take care of her, for example, or I can take care of some of my other friends, etc., etc. So, as I said, I'm just very interested, like what is that thing for you guys? Because uh, I think once you find that, like there's a lot of uh, personal power and uh, freedom that comes from it. But yeah, gonna go hit this workout real quick. I'm actually gonna try and train some legs and do a bit of cardio, which I don't do much of, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Happy birthday. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. 